Respiratory therapy, the most basic definition is helping people breathe. Um, it involves everything from people on ventilators to helping people with asthma. It's a lot of different things. It looks at the whole cardiopulmonary system. We do everything from manage the airway in a critical care setting down to giving an inhaler or a um, nebulizer treatment to someone in the emergency room who can't breathe. People will think, oh, you, so you help people with asthma. Yeah, we do that, but then we do a lot more. We help you know, people with COPD, different lung issues. We help people have trouble sleeping, which is one of the rotations I'm about to go to tonight. Um, help them you know, get a better night's sleep. We work in transportation. We work in the ICUs. We work in sleep studies. Um, and even home care, people that just have simple oxygen devices at home, we'll go there and help them set that up, get it adjusted to what they need, um, and then get them feeling better as best they can there in their home setting. You know, we're responsible for like patients breathing and helping maintain the airway. Um, we can like do anything from like a breathing treatment to assisting with intubation. Um, in some cases we do intubate depending on where you practice or um, what setting you're in. So it's not just in the hospital like most people think, but it's just a wide array of areas where respiratory therapists are needed.